Oh, hello there. How are you? <laughs> oh, well, this might be. This might be. <laughs> this might be the last decent day for a while. say though it was a cold ride in this morning at 40 degrees but it is now almost 70 so it was worth it I see some snow in Wyoming though Ooh. not ready Alright, another work day down. How is everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. Staying warm, <laughs> or at least staying out of the snow. Holy crap, I looked at that radar over there in Wyoming and it is it is coming down. Nice. Well thank you for joining me today. My name is Mike, NVA writer. Non value added I gotta say that every time sometimes I add value we'll see so like I said I hope everybody is doing very well today it has been a minute since I put up a video it's I've had a lot going on kind of had a uh, oh needed a little little break I had uh, some work going on had some family stuff going on and I just didn't have time to do a video and I don't have the backlog like most people do So here I am, one subscriber away from a 350. That just seems to be a number that is eluding me. But we'll get there. So I'm trying not to do a thing. <laughs> If you've been following me for a little while, uh, Harley Davidson wasn't my first choice. Um, we first started shopping when, when I was in the market for a new bike. We first started shopping um, at Indian. We, we started looking at Indian. Specifically the Roadmaster. Something big, you know, for a passenger storage, yada yada. So we went to uh, there's a dealer local, and uh, actually there's two of them close by me. Well, within 45 minutes of me. And uh, we went and talked to a salesman, super cool guy, very knowledgeable. Took his time, answered questions. And we took one for a test spin. Uh, it was a used one, a couple years older, but still, he set it up. And uh, my wife and I took it for a little ride around town. Nice bike, smooth ride, a lot of features, right? Not the color I wanted, but they had one in the showroom that we wanted the, the color, or maybe my wife wants black. Again, if you follow me, you know. She wants a black motorcycle, but it's mine, dang it. Shopped at a Harley dealer local, another local dealer. There's like, there's a few of them around here. Hit one of the main ones around here. Salesman turned us off completely. Actually turned her off completely from Harley Davidson. Fast forward a little bit. I stopped by a different dealership, uh, Capital Harley Davidson in Lansing. Uh, if you follow Bodine 52, that is where he picked up his new one. Salesman there was cool. I said, oh, man, super knowledgeable, wanted to know, wanted to know about me and my riding and what I was looking for in this. Brought my wife in, 
super uh, patient with her because all of her questions uh, he was aware that her brother had passed away on his bike so he was conscious of that and uh, checked out a couple rides there and off we went <clears throat> did test ride a, a road glide and uh, ended up with uh, what you see here in all my videos this 2020 road glide special so for whatever reason i'm gonna i'm gonna say it was i'm gonna say it was hdr's fault i was watching one of his videos and uh, about talking about these old motorcycles and, and this and that and trading them in and getting to where he was today and I was kind of like, yeah, I wonder. Because I, I I need to add a tour pack to this. I'd like to add some lowers. And, you know, that's all stuff that I, I guess I could have bought a model that had it all. But I kind of like the more stripped down look of this. I can take the backrest off. I can Anyway. Um, made a comment on his video. And he commented back something about if you add a tour pack and a bunch of weight, I'd have to look into this. Is there a difference with the frame? I mean, is it going to cause problems? Two up with uh, with some gear. So for hits and grins, I was curious about what my bike was worth. So I actually hopped back over to that Indian dealer's website. Uh, don't hate, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me yet. I haven't done anything. I filled out their little form on uh, what's your bike worth. And he called me, wanted a couple photos. And, uh, hey, what color do you want? Told them black. So they've got a 2021 Roadmaster in stock. The value I got back for my bike was shockingly higher than I was expecting it to be. So here I'm thinking, well, crap. I mean, I'm looking at the features of this bike. Okay, I mean, I know that you, everybody knows the differences. They've read them, but but this this guy comes with heated grips, heated seat, power shield. Uh, you know, the the analog brakes, the the tire pressure monitoring system, all the bells and whistles, all the bells and whistles. Power locking bags and trunk, and it's got the 116 in it. So it's. Uh, it's got a lot of the stuff I really would like, but it's not the stripped down look. I, I can't take everything off it if I want to, you know, get rid of the tour pack and and uh, and whatnot. So my original thought was, you know, keep this, pay this off, get a Roadmaster, you know, make this a single rider, get us, you know, get a single seat on it, get rid of the backrest, and kind of, you know, make it more whatever. I am not patient. I don't. I don't uh, I don't handle waiting very long very well I mean I love don't get me wrong I love this bike I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get rid of it I say <laughs> anyway let me finish so mrs. NV8 comes into the conversation and she's just like well yeah she goes do you know that's the one I like she goes you'd really trade in your road glide on that I'm like well I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so, you know, being the salesman, he wants me to bring it down this weekend. And uh, they want to take a look at it and give me a, an official appraisal on it. Now, this, this company, this company, this dealership last time when I was looking, uh, was when I had my 2014 uh, Vulcan 900. And uh, I, they were going to pay it out off outright. They were just going to pay it off and take it in on trade. And uh, I wouldn't. It wasn't going to reflect on the the total. I don't know how that works. Because usually, I mean, I would have been upside down on it a little bit. I, I don't know. I don't know how all that works. The the Harley dealer did the same thing. They just took it, and paid it off. 
and didn't roll anything into the payment or into the financing of the new bike. So I feel like I'm cheating. I feel like I'm cheating on my road line. I did post a picture of it on uh, my Instagram. Most people were like, yo, pull the trigger. Uh, Bodine threatened to <clears throat> threatened to come over and have a little chat with me. <laughs> and uh, my wife, though, did she did offer to, uh, well, she didn't offer. She said she would pay to see that. And I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. So that is where I am sitting. I feel, am I cheating? I'm just window shopping. Am I cheating on my uh, on my road glide? I don't know. I don't think so. It's just a bike, right? They will come and go. I am shopping for a winter project now, and I did find I did find an old Magna. I might float that idea past the uh, the finance committee. So what do you think? Am I crazy for even looking? <laughs> Am I cheating on my road glide? I don't know. I like to shop. I like I like to shop. I, I do all the time anyway. I'm always doing those cars. Probably why my wife wants to pay somebody to smack me around a little bit. So hope everybody's doing well. Let me know down below. Stupid idea, good idea. Do it, don't do it. Probably won't do it. I might just refinance this. I've had this uh, for a couple seasons now. I wouldn't mind a little lower payment on it, but uh, see what I can do. Maybe I can get the interest rate a little bit lower. Definitely not going to finance it for refinance it for you know. So the term is longer. I want to keep the same term that it you know whatever I have left with lower interest rate. Anyway, that is all. I'm going to enjoy my uh, <laughs> potentially last decent day of riding. I might, I might go to work tomorrow on it, but there's like a 40% chance of rain around the time I'm going home, so we'll see in the morning. So that is all. Everybody have a great day. Have a great week. I hope you're warm. I hope it's not snowing where you are. I know a couple people that have snow. A couple people I follow have snow on the ground. Hopefully it's not coming this way yet. Stay safe out there, and we will catch you on the next one. Hopefully there won't be too much of a gap between this one and the next one. So long.